Hi, I'm Dr. Holton. I'm the Director of Stamps Health Services here at Georgia Tech. And I wanted to talk briefly about uh, COVID-19 or the, what's called the coronavirus and steps that students can take to uh, protect themselves. What we know is that COVID-19 is transmitted through respiratory droplets and that means that uh, it's spread through uh, when people cough or sneeze either into someone's face or those respiratory droplets fall onto surfaces and people touch those surfaces and then touch their face. So things that students can do, faculty, staff, and students can do to protect themselves are to wash their hands frequently using soap and water uh, for 20 seconds or to use alcohol-based hand sanitizer very frequently. If they can avoid touching their face, uh, we all do it and we do it without thinking about it and we do it far more often than we really realize. Staying uh, away from folks who are ill is also helpful, or at least maintaining a little bit of distance. Uh, what we think is that um, two meters or six feet is adequate distance to provide protection from a large inoculum of virus particles from someone who's sick. Trying to avoid touching uh, things such as doorknobs and st uh, stair rails and when you're greeting someone, uh, do a fist bump or an elbow bump instead of shaking hands are all steps that can be taken to try to protect yourself from, from picking up the virus. So the symptoms of COVID-19 are respiratory symptoms, so that includes fever, cough, difficulty breathing, um, less commonly nasal congestion, some sore throat. Treatment is really over-the-counter medications and common sense. So make sure you get plenty of rest, that you're drinking plenty of fluids, Tylenol or ibuprofen for fever, cough medicine for the cough, Sudafed or similar medications for the congestion, and then staying away from others so that you don't spread the illness to others. To younger people, so our student population age group, tolerate um, COVID-19 infection actually quite well. Most do not require advanced medical care and this can be managed at home. Students should reach out for help if they have um, a high fever that won't go down with using Tylenol or ibuprofen, or if they're experiencing significant shortness of breath, if they're unable to do their activities of daily living without um, getting significantly out of breath, if they have to stop while they're trying to take a shower, if they can't get up and walk and fix a meal for themselves. The most important thing to remember about COVID-19 is that for most people, it's just like a common cold or the flu.